All right, so it's been about 24 hours since I had the Atlas Prophylax uh, treatment in the Gold Coast, and now I'm back in Sydney. I'm just giving my, um, I guess, my reaction uh, to the treatment. So, initially, uh, when I went in the room, he asked me obviously all sorts of questions um, about you know my history, my health history, um, all the you know surgeries, the injuries, accidents. Um, any treatments I'd done already, people I'd seen already. Um, if you've been watching this channel, you uh, there's been a lot of things going on. Um, about two sporting injuries, uh, possibly th uh, I think it's two, and then um, two car accidents um, have basically contributed to my um, neck being out of alignment, specifically up at the Atlas. Also a bit lower down, but. Um, Specifically, the Atlas is what we're um, is what the Atlas prophylax stuff is to do with. So I'll just mention that for the time being. Um, and so basically, my and I, I've also got a uh, and I mentioned this last video, a leg length discrepancy of 15 uh, millimeters. So um, on one side, um, on my right side, it's a lot longer than my left. And um, so my that obviously then tilts the pelvis on one side, and then your whole body goes another way like this, and then your neck, and then your Atlas. So, um, yeah, whole body out of whack for uh, many years. I'm 25 now, so I'd say I'd say, I'd say for maybe the last 10 years, uh, it would have been like this because that's when uh, that's how long I've been having all these symptoms, like you know, bad nasal breathing, um, you know, reflux. Although that didn't really start until a bit later, to be honest. Um, also, like always getting headaches and stuff. Um, yeah, like tongue inflexibility, like uh, sleep apnea. Um, uh, lots of earwax, uh, all sorts of things. Um, fast forward to 2024, I've uh, been doing Atlas orthogonal uh, treatment. Um, and um, I should say, sorry, it wasn't 10 years, it's actually nine years since uh, um, the, these symptoms, I would say roughly. Um, anyway, so I've been doing lots of Atlas orthogonal treatments because they would fix my problem uh, immediately, pretty much. So I wouldn't get the reflux at night. Um, my neck wouldn't be in you know, pain. Uh, nasal breathing improves immediately. Uh, don't get the earwax. Um, what are some of the other things I mentioned? Um, yeah, like the tongue flexibility increases. Um, all sorts of things, but uh, I can never get it to stick. Um, but the reason for doing the Atlas Prophylax thing, and I literally found, about it, found, out, about it, found out about it, on Monday, and I was in the Gold Coast on Tuesday. There's only three people in Australia who uh, who can do it, who are trained in it. Um, I think there's a hundred worldwide. So you can you can look on the on the Atlas Prophylax website. Um, and uh, so I found someone in in Queensland who could do it. And uh, yeah, I basically went up there on a 13 or uh, 15 and a half hour coach journey, um, and then a plane back this morning. So pretty tired, but um, I yeah, but it was very successful ultimately. And I'll tell you why. So, um, when I went in there, as I said, he did all the, you know, asked me about all the history, and then he made all, all these precise measurements of, uh, you know, of my atlas and and various things. Did a bunch of tests on me. Uh, where like he'd get me to get, uh, test my uh, strength and my leg if I was lifting one up in the air. Um, testing where like my uh, my um, hands would end up if I um, was really relaxed, and then he was moving them, and then suddenly one hand was like way out of sync with the other and um, it's hard to explain over video but um, yeah so so after that he then basically massaged with this specific with this uh, specific tool um, he massaged um, like uh, the left side and the right side and the, the idea is you're, you're you're massaging the um, the fascia which is holding the atlas in place in the incorrect position so the, the idea is that you um, massage it so intently so that it can um, basically let the atlas kind of fall into place where it should be and then afterwards the atlas uh, the, the um, fascia sorry uh, tightens over uh, the atlas uh, thus making it really strong uh, so it doesn't move and um, I don't know if that makes sense but it's basically I'll try to quick recap you you massage all the uh, surrounding fascia which is extremely tight especially around the back of your neck um, uh, back of your head back of your neck uh, that, that just kind of that indent area 
Um, and then once the atlas is able to slot into its proper position, uh, then I, I, it's either that he massaged the fascia over it or uh, by just leaving it alone, the fascia tightened by itself. Um, I, I, and the reason I don't know is because he used two different massage uh, tools. So I don't know if the second one was the one that was putting it back in place or maybe they were both contributing, co contributing to uh, relaxing the fascia in the first place. Anyway, so um, immediately afterwards, um, I was like, well, this, I was thinking to myself, well, this is clearly where this is like, you know, the Atlas of and all stuff where, you know, the voice changes immediately, um, feel taller, um, you know, easier with the movement of the neck. Um, but because I've been so concerned every time I do the Atlas of Thornal one that it's going to go out so quickly, um, I, I I don't like to do too much to try to take it really, really easy. But because he was saying, oh, well, you know, try and look behind you, you know, and then I was able to, you know, do a full, pretty much a full 180 on, on both sides. Um, and it's still holding and like, you know, no like stress at all. And, ba and he, he's basically saying, well, I, you know, I've done 8,000 of these and it's very, very rare um, that uh, that it needs to be done again. And I think he specifically said, I've never actually done one a, one a second time. Um, and he was even citing this uh, woman who, uh, in the Gold Coast, there's a bunch of <laughs> um, th theme parks. And he said that a woman after doing the uh, treatment with him uh, went on a roller coaster um, and she was absolutely fine, even though she thought it might have, you know, gone out again. You know, I imagine she's, you know, fairly, um, I guess you'd say paranoid, similar to me and like, you know, like skeptical initially. Um, so yeah, but, but and then when I was leaving, um, uh, after like looking behind me, I even asked him to check again because I was worried, oh, well, like, what if I messed it up by, you know, moving my neck and stuff. Um, and he assured me it was fine. Um, anyway, but on the walk back to the, uh, uh, on the walk towards, uh, to the Airbnb that I was staying with my brother who accompanied me on the trip, um, I, I was starting to get quite down. It's like, oh, like, what if it didn't, what if it didn't hold? Like, we're going back at 6am on the flight tomorrow, like, ah, oh, like, what am I going to do? Like, I can't go back to Gold Coast again, etc. Um, and, uh, but, so, so I was honestly, like, quite down my brother was very very good at motivating me keeping me going and like no no bro, just trust the guy he's done it eight thousand times he knows more about it than you and i'm like oh well you know i feel like it's you know might be coming out it feels tight in that area etc um but i'm glad that uh my brother was <laughs> there because I, I wasn't expecting him to come on the trip anyway considering it was so booked so last minute um but yeah so transpires when i you know i had a nap when i went back to the airbnb um, just for you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Um, got up afterwards. A voice, uh, yeah, as resonant, uh, as resonant as it usually is when the atlas is in the right place. I was like, well, this is good. It seems like I'm holding it, and I'm moving my, you know, neck all the way back. Um, and another thing that he, the, you know, the guy said who did it, he was saying, you know, it would take, it would take really excessive force to, you know, let, make it come out because the fascia there is so strong. Um, and um, he was basically saying like, you'd have to get hit really, really hard in the neck in that spot for, for it to, you know, um, to come out. So he was very, very confident in it. And um, now literally coming to Sydney, um, yeah, I've, yeah, I'm very, very grateful because, you know, the resonant voice um, is still there. You know, I've been, I've been doing so much of this, you know, because I've not been able to, li I've not been able to move my head in 180, like for as long as I can remember. And it's really kind of crazy that, um, Another thing is, and this is really interesting, um, with the tongue tie stuff, you know, they would, um, I remember for so long, um, there's this video, I can't remember who it's by, but I could probably find it, um, of someone talking about a tongue tie release and how your tongue should be able to go to the roof of the mouth while your tongue's fully open, um, and you should be able to get three fingers um, in the gap, so. And you should be able to go forward and back with the tongue against the roof of the mouth. Now, I've never been able to have it with three fingers where it's like kind of comfortable, you know? It's always been like, oh, they can only just squeeze in. And usually like, it's like two and a half fingers. Right now, I, it's, and you'll see if I've got previous videos, if you check out the tongue tie playlist on my YouTube, you might be able to see uh, the, the difference from now to then. And I think it's because this kind of area, um, it's hard to show, but like kind of like this kind of area, I can now engage it a lot better so I can actually get that get that tongue to 
and move up higher um, and I can have the jaw wider and stuff. So this should also help with the TMJ stuff as well. Um, but then it's not just, oh, I'll get your atlas fixed and you know, everything's sorted out because you know, at the same time, I've also got to you know, do vocal rehabilitation stuff and loads of you know, like M's and you know, hums and all sorts of things and sirens. Um, and one of, the, one of the things for me is that I often have a very tight solar plexus, so trying to get the, like doing a hum, you know, I wouldn't be engaging the, um, kind of the kind of my chest part of my range uh, properly. So it would be very kind of weak sound, not very helpful. Um, but by deliberately, you know, by kind of doing the M sound or the hums or whatever, by, you know, really trying to bring in your chest voice as much as possible, I think. And then you can gradually ease off so it's really light. But the point is you have to have the, you have to have the, you know, the sound and um, the engaged by obviously, you know, this, uh, your whole chest area. Um, Cause if it's not, it's weak and it's just not gonna work. It's not really gonna like, do anything for your vocal cord uh, rehabilitation. So that's a bit kind of what I've been doing today. But honestly, um, it's really, really amazing. Um, the results from the Atlas Prophylax and it means I don't have to ever go to get my Atlas adjusted by Atlas Orthogonal or Atlas or Chiropractor or whatever, um, or even just a normal chiropractor or a physio because they give you all these stretches which you know didn't ever help me. Um, so yeah, I, I'm very, very grateful and I, um, I'll i see obviously how I go, but the early signs are really good if you know, you're holding it after you know, doing all sorts of movements and also, you know, the last, you know, the last few weeks, months, you know, I've been not doing sport and stuff. I've been trying to get really, really easy. And it's not really, f and, and also like, you know, showering like with slides on with that have a heel lift in so that, you know, just because I don't want to knock my Atlas adjustment out. Um, and the other thing is with the Atlas orthogonal stuff, I'd often, yes, it would be in the right place, but I'd have a lot of strain in my neck still. Like uh, the symptoms would be going. So like, I, I'm more happy with that situation, but you know, I have all this, still this strain in my neck as I try and, you know, keep it in the right place and stuff. Now all that's not, I, I don't have to think about it. It's just like, it's like a normal person would have. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of overwhelmed with um, gratitude, honestly. So, so yeah, um, it's pretty good. Anyway, so that's how it was prophylax. And then now it's on to vocal rehabilitation. And, um, you know, in the past three years, obviously I've had to learn so much about it seeing technique in order to um you know try and understand what was you know wrong with my body i suppose you could say and um if my atlas is out it doesn't matter how much rehabilitation i do with my voice it doesn't help so it just doesn't help um so or if it does it's very very marginal um and the thing is with because it's one of the um issues with the atlas out is that i'd get you know reflux every single night and um, so like, you know, you can rehabilitate your voice for a bit and then, you know, the next day you wake up and it's like j just as bad as it was the previous day. It's not worse. And it's be really, really unpredictable as well when your voice is going to just, you know, crash out on you. Um, also be doing Alexander stuff as well, you know, trying to always be leading forward. So your, the back, uh, your low back can, you know, build up some strength and... Um, also keeping the head up, obviously. Like, just all sorts of things. But again, like, you go to Atlas... Um, uh, an Alexander Technique um, practitioner, and um, if you get your atlas adjusted one week to the next, they're gonna be like, oh wow, your next, it's so much easier to do the, you know, the movements this week. It's like, well, I wonder why, it's because the atlas is getting fucking sorted out. Um, anyway, that's it for now, but um, I hope that was interesting. Um, yeah, that's my review so far of Atlas Prophylax uh, 24 hours later, and I'm very, very happy about it. Hopefully I stay happy about it. All right, see you all later, bye.